guys, um, just before I uh, you get into the video, I just wanted to show you my setup. Okay, what I've bought. Uh, this came as a package with the magnet uh, off Amazon. The links will be in the description box at the bottom. Links to the page where I've got it from. Um, so you can have a look for yourself. There is others on on there, stronger ones. I think this is about the smallest. I don't think there's much more than that. Um, this came with 100 feet of paracord, which I wrap around a uh, paint stirrer, basically because it's got holes in there, so I can tether it down if I wanted to, push a, a nail or something through there. That just keeps it all wrapped up for me. This I put on to stop it getting snagged. Um, you don't want your magnet getting snagged, okay? Uh, so that just stops it getting snagged on stuff at the bottom. And this is the magnet itself. You see it just fits in the palm of my hand. I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger, but I only paid £12 for it with free delivery, so, <laughs> you know, to sizes. It's got a 68 kg pull, which is about £148. Yeah, it's pulling the stuff out. It's pulling the stuff out, as you'll see in the video to follow this. A bit disappointed about that, because it said rust free. There's a bit of rust coming there after a couple of times of using it, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. And it just fits in the palm of my hand. Nice little strong magnet. And it's pulled out some quite biggish stuff. Whether a magnet, a, a bigger, more powerful magnet will pull out bigger items, I don't know. I don't want massively, massively big items, you know, because you see some of the guys pulling bikes and stuff out. Um, that not there. If you watch other people's videos, you'll, if you just put it in YouTube, how to tie a knot, I can't remember the name of that knot. It's quite a sturdy little knot. I was a bit worried about this power cord at first. I thought it was going to stretch, but it doesn't. So that's basically the rig. I'll say again, all the links will be in the bottom there to where, where I bought this from. So all I have to say is uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy seeing the, seeing the finds. Hi guys. Been magnet fishing tonight. I'll show you some, the, the finds. It's just a quick video to show you what I found tonight. Uh, I've just spent a couple of hours by this canal. Um, see my magnet there. All the links to this magnet will be in the bottom down below. Uh, so I'm just going to show you what I found. I haven't done any live sort of throwing ins. That'll maybe later on. Uh, the next few uh, sort of fishing videos that I do. Uh, I'm still doing the metal detecting videos. There's one to come up after this video. So, But I just thought I'd show you what I found tonight. It's been quite interesting for this such a small magnet. But I'll run you through the finds when I get to down there because they're down there at the bottom. Thanks for watching. Enjoy me on the finds. Hey guys, Ooh, my breath. This is my magnet. Uh, a link to that will be down below where I bought it from. Uh, basically, got it off Amazon. It's only a small magnet. It's got a 67 kg pull, about 148 pounds. Paracord. Wrapped around basically what's a paint stirrer. If I want to, I can. There's holes in it, so I can tether this this stirrer down. I don't want to wind all that out because it's massive. But I'll show you what it's pulled me up tonight. Usual cancel or stuff. That is massive. That must weigh about seven, eight, maybe even ten, fifteen kgs. That I'm gonna take that home. I think somebody's used that as an anchor. That and it pulled that up no problem. Once he got a good tether on it there that bar that looks metal but it's not it's rubber it's come off a boat but it, it, it anchored onto that there uh, cancel or stuff cigarette lighter that's from an air rifle it's a co2 cartridge uh, it's a cancel or showing you lighter Jubilee clip sort of thing. This is an interesting find. I've got a clue what this is. Don't know what that is. Paintbrush. <laughs> Paintbrush. So basically that's about it. Nails. Uh, all this is going to go, there's a bin behind me over there, so this is all going to go in the bin. More cancel stuff. A uh, chunk of glass that had a piece of metal sort of there, and it, the magnet clanked onto that side. 
pulled up the, the, the glass with it. That's cool. A bit mucky. Uh, so yeah, the basic new finds for tonight. I'll show more, more so I've got a tripod that I'll, I'll stick my camera on the tripod and show you me throwing it in. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Nothing's going to make me a millionaire. Just, you're pulling up mainly this cancel stuff. Yeah, bits of tins. A little bits of metal. Uh, so I'll chuck all this in the bin now, head off home, edit this video together. Um, like I say, it's not to replace the metal detectors. There's a bit of a drought going on in the UK at the moment, and the ground's like concrete, so metal detecting's near impossible. It's near impossible, so I thought I'd give this a try. I'm quite happy with the finds I've, I've got so far. A lot of people won't, but maybe in the mail. Uh, the, I don't know, I'm, this is about the only thing we're going to take tonight. We're going to take that, put that in the garden, spray it up. <laughs> so, anyway, thanks for watching, and join me on the next fishing video.